All right, we are back. Um, at the end of last week, the first episode, the most amazing thing happened, and I added it right in the end of the uh, the video, even though we had stopped recording. But I just amazingly guessed what the uh, the copy protection password was, which granted us access to this floor. And uh, let's just pick right back up. We're still going live. And Squat says, we are far underground. The way, it bef uh, the way before us is vast, dark, and still. It appears to be long abandoned. We'll see. I hear, I hear some, some drips. That's about it. We'll see. We'll see if we're lucky enough that it's been long abandoned. That just says to me that there's monsters near somewhere. Some monsters have taken it over for their own personal use. Ah, key. All right, let's see if our resident thief, fresh off of his first ever successful lockpick. Let's see how this goes. Or not. That's all right. That's all right. Was there a secret? Did I miss the, uh, did I miss something that said there was a secret wall? I'm looking for that one little notch hey Oregon Trail was a classic let's not rip on Oregon Trail we're still doing these live by the way I don't see a secret wall there I'll be honest I do get in the habit though of like checking every single wall you know there it is Here's a pro tip that I, I'm kind of proud of myself for remembering. When you see two walls that are exactly the same right next to each other, usually one of them is either has like a little bit that you can press and open a secret passageway, or you can pass right through it, which I just did. Surely this passage leads somewhere up. Anyone see it? There it is. I like the people watching this live are familiar with Dark Moon. Oh, is that Joral and what's her name? We killed you guys. I think I'm trying to do their their magic. And drink. What you got, buddy? What do you got for us? You got a fireball? Oh, I didn't hit her because she didn't keep up. All right, are they going to come through the wall? I don't know that they're allowed to do that. Yeah, they're confused. They're like, what? You can't go through a wall. They're leaving. <laughs> Where's your lady friend? There she is. Burning hands. There we go. Killed your man. We need more HP. We're, we're kind of weak. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rooster. I, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. It's cool. My older brother got me into this game when I was a tiny child. So you're in good company. I think there's three in the series, but interestingly enough, this is the only one that we actually ever really played. Or that we played together. This, the head crusher does not look comfortable. You gotta lower your standards then. The shackles are in working order. That's good to know. If we ever find that insole thieving SOB. Alright, Matthew. You got this? Damn it. That's a skull key. Those are actually pretty tricky. Oh. Okay. No. They tried casting a spell on us. I should have rested, son of a bitch. And drank ice. Hell yeah. I love it when we get it off when it's in the distance. Oh, we're out of, like, all offensive spells. That's not good. We got acid arrow. That's only good on the right side. Uh-oh. They got us in a corner. 
All hands on deck. Knives, whatever you got. Throw everything you got at these sons of... No, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Acid arrow. Damn it. They are hanging in there, aren't they? Blur? I don't know what that did. I tried swinging it with my bare fist right there. Let me move on up. Damn it. What do you got? What do you got, Squatch? Aid. Front line. He just did more damage than you just cured. Oh my god. Must have a hand free for this spell. Damn, I took his weapon out again. Give 10 drink then. Oh. Hell yeah. Get up front. All right then, come on back. It's not looking good. And Drank is like, I don't know how to use this shit. <laughs> just throwing stones at him at this point. We're like, ah, just throw everything. He killed someone. Oh no, they're so tough. What were we thinking? Have we? Oh yeah. Let's load a let's load a save game. <laughs> I think I'm okay, yeah. I appreciate it though. Might be the light. That didn't go well. Alright, where the hell was that now? I want sweet, sweet revenge. On all of them. Ah, thought we had that. Just, you really do have to rest after everything. <laughs> you remember that, huh? There it was. All right. We might need to rest right now. No, all right, we're good. All right, where are they? I know. How far does that travel? Not that far, all right. Why don't you guys like stick together? It annoys me that you guys don't travel together because then I move to the middle at least. Don't be a douche. Does he have a sh... Does he have a shield in the sand? It's weird. I was still, like, figuring out the combinations, I guess, at that point. That makes sense. Now she shows up. That's fine. Oh, she won't come through here, though. Brigandia's held. Oh, when not she cast that? Fireball and drink. Fireball and drink. Hell yeah. All right, let's rest up. Get him unheld. I assume this will cure that, whatever it was. Whew. All right. No longer paralyzed. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Clean bill of health. So was there anything even in here? Were they just hanging out in the torture chamber? Because, you know, whatever. All right, now time for some sweet, sweet revenge. There it is, hit them both. And drank Ice Storm! Yes! One more fireball for the win? No, not for the win. I wish I had some idea of how much damage these are doing. Some of these spells, you know? All you really have is like what killed the 
the your opposition last. And you're like, oh well, Burning Hands must be better than Ice, a level four spell, because it killed them. All right, cool. Let's save. Brigandi United. Here we go. Hell yeah. This was. Oh, that opened behind me. A complete set of elf bones taken. So you can revive a finite number of people back, I think it's like on the third floor or something like that. So anytime you find a complete set of bones, you want to hold on to those because it might be an awesome warrior or, you know, different type of character. You don't really know, but I mean, certainly worth, uh, oh, someone's alive. What just opened? Not this one. <laughs> I agree. A skull. That's not going to do a whole lot. We can toss that at somebody. All right. femur. Yeah, I think you need a full set of bones. I don't think you can like just take individual bones to the resurrection thing and hope for good stuff to happen. Hope for good stuff to happen. So by process of elimination our living prisoner is in here. A small starving dwarf croaks. Help me! Help me, please! The dwarf slowly picks himself up and whimpers. Thank you, kind adventurers, for saving me. This temple harbors an evilness, and I must go to warn my people not to trust the clerics any further. The dwarf, free of his chains, scampers out of his cell. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I didn't have like, to make the decision of whether or not to bring him in the group or not. Because I hadn't saved first. I feel like I should safe before we open any more cells in case I invite any more thieving thieving thieves to the group nothing going on in here <laughs> I know we don't trust anyone now I remember Calandra being pretty sweet I think that character but that's all I really remember uh, Matthew you got this It's like they almost decide which locks you can pick early on, and uh, the rest you just need keys for your SOL. All right. Wall to the north is not really there. Excuse me. Interesting. Good place to hide things. We got potions. Sweet. Got to remember that that's a false wall right there. Yeah, that's the false wall. All right. Uh, wait, is there anything else back here? They said it's a good place to hide things. They just mean, like, because it's through this fake wall. I know sometimes, like, if you're watching this, you're probably like, wait, which direction is he going? And that's fair, but, uh... Anyway, all right. Out of the prison block. Still can't open this. Don't have any skull keys. And this was the original room where we found those clerics hanging out in the torture area. And then we go back through. There's another. Yeah, there's the original fake wall that we came out of. And this needed like a. That might be a dark moon key. I'm not sure. We don't have whatever key it needs though. All right. A 
And this is the main chamber. This is where I did the password protection. All right, quick save here. Oh, there is a drop character feature. Okay. Let's get to know. So if we do pick up someone, I have to worry about it now. If we do pick up someone that I don't necessarily want. What was that? Can I like go back and read that? I thought there was a way to do that. Maybe not. Do we have any new spells we need to... Do I have any additional spells to learn yet? No, nah, no one's gotten any... Uh, pray for spells. No. Nah. Alright. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. You've come a little ways, LeMay. Eventually, it's going to be able to do these locks. Whatever these are. Um, yeah. Ah, interesting. I'm not opposed to heading back and, uh... Maybe getting another party member. I don't want another party member just for the sake of it. Just because I know we can only bring back so many people. Oh, nice. Thanks for... I got a Twitch follow while we were doing this. Ironically enough. Thank you for the follow. I know you're not seeing this, but thanks for the follow. Um... Was it anything there? Okay, no. Just walking around here. These are just the regular guards. I am curious though who we can bring back. Who's uh There we go. Whose set set of bones these are. Alright, this should be back in the temple area. There we are. All right, this is uh, right here. This is where we go. All right, well, let's save right here. Let's see who these bones belong to and if we want them in the group. San Raul, this is, I think this is a powerful wizard. This is like the purple guy. Yeah. Um, I don't have an extra spell book for San Raul right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm very curious as to who I want in the party. Cause I, like I said, there's only a certain number of people you can resurrect in the game. You can only use this thing so many times. But uh, let's see what spell Sanrail has. He has no spell book. All right, and drinks cool. He'll does look like a robot wizard. And drank will share. So he's got all the basic stuff there. He has a few extra level 3 spells. He doesn't have fireball, but he's got lightning bolt. Which doesn't hit everybody. It's only one side, so it's just going to hit the left if he's on the left side. Vampiric touch, hold person. He's got two level 4 spells. That's pretty cool. And he knows these spells, but he can't learn them yet. He even has a level 6 spell, but he can't learn it yet. Alright, I'm okay with leaving Sanrail in the party. I'm down with that. I think Sanrail is good. Uh, I hope I don't regret this. We need to find another magic book, though. Obviously. So let's, let's teach him the spells for now. Let's go with Acid Arrow. Level 2 spells are always stupid in my experience. Vampiric Touch. Eh. That remove curse is gonna be clutch if you picked up if you pick up and equip an, a uh, curse weapon because there's some weapons where you're like wow this is really sweet and then it's only until you equip it that you find out oh I can't take this off because it's cursed and that's where that comes in. But uh, for now we don't need to worry about that. We can learn that as necessary. <laughs> and I and it's it's kind of a uh, 
It's not an ideal situation, but we'll share the spell book. <laughs> They'll take turns. Sorry, who's here? Get out of here. We got San Rao now. San Rao. So this, this should cut through that guy pretty effectively, yeah. Now I'm like, could you like move over to that side for us? It's kind of lame the way that it sets up like that. So now I gotta give the book back to Endrank. And have him cast his fireball. Wait for it. There it is. All right. He's a little beat up there. So, we got to find another spell book, ideally. <laughs> yes, they do. All right. Back downstairs we go. Calandra's the other one that I remember. I think before I resurrect anyone else, I need to like do a little bit of research on how many people we can bring back and you know, who the best people are, I guess. Oh, stay like that. That's fantastic. How good is Lightning Bolt when they line up like that? I love that spell. That's where that Thieving Thief was. Alright. Uh, this... Might not be where I want to be. This was the spider level. <sighs> Start to remember where all the... The false walls are and everything. That's his cell. Here we go. Here's where the, uh... The trap floor was. Thought. Yeah, it's right. It's right here. Okay. Alright, we're okay. Alright, so we're pretty much back where we started, but we got San Rao now. San Rao. Need to decide on. A way to put that. All right. I think this was it. There will be a lot more spell books as we continue moving forward. I can drop party members. Yeah, that's in um, right here. So that's good. I just don't know how many people I can resurrect is the problem. I want to say either two or three, but I just don't remember. So, there is a limit. Um, obviously, that's assuming that I don't bring any of my party members back, because I'm not going to let any of my people die, and if they do, I will reload. But um, I definitely want to save those, if possible, for the... Uh, for the new full sets of bones that we find while we're out and about. Here in Dark Moon, and there is the notch in the wall. That's where we were going. I think there's a limit on how many you can bring back. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. But uh, for now, it's so easy to get turned around. Like this is the door. This is the wall that we open. Okay. Oh, it's just a circle. Oh, it, there's a hidden wall here. Well, there you go. Oh, wait. Where? Okay, that's back in the prison area. I do have a key for that door. <laughs> I should mention that. The notch in the wall that I ignored, was that it then? That's the hidden wall that we went through earlier. Let's just open this door. Yeah, 
against the wall that we that I opened and it seems to go to nowhere. All right. One last check. You can't open this, right? With the lock picks. Yeah. All right. Use a key. Uh-oh. There's definitely Yeah. I don't know about a pressure plate, but... Ow! Alright, I wasn't... Yeah, no matter how you flick that. So we can actually use that to our advantage. Yeah, a map feature would be awesome. And if you, like, pull up a map for this game, it's like... <laughs> like good luck following it, you know? Okay. Fully rested. Let's just save. For fun. Alright, so if we invite some dudes here, and I just got my first skeleton key, my skull key. If we pull... Yes! Ah, oh, skeleton warriors. These guys are not easy. But, if we lure them back... We can have some fun. Or we can... get ourselves hurt. Oh, did that just kill, like, three of them? I think it hits dudes in the middle, too. And that was hard to tell, could have missed. Try one more time. Yeah, that hit. Alright, good. What? Alright, yeah, but go to his. Doesn't he not? Oh, because he didn't give him the, the book back. Son of a bitch. I did not realize that's how that worked. I'm so used to like being spoiled and having spell books for everyone. Yeah, shields. I think I think they just like it's just automatically used, yeah. I got Ice Storm. We got room to use it? Yeah, we do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like if that hits me super close, people are going to die. We got room to mess with these guys. Right, yeah, I thought it wasn't triggering, but it was just because he hadn't slept. That's why he had no spells in there. And you can kind of like trick them out by moving around a little bit, like a little, you know, a little back and forth. And they can't get their hits off while I miss literally everything that I'm doing. He's got two ice storms. How could I forget that? Damn. These guys, like, they're no slouches. I think I mentioned that. It's healthy competition. Come here. Come here. Whew. Bob and weave. That's right. Jeez. Good lord. I think we're out of spells. You got any, uh, what do you, what do you got? A flame blade? Oh, I got it. didn't do much there. The amount of missing in this game, it's one of the few things that annoys me about it. It's like, come on now. I don't know how long that flame blade lasts. Cure serious. There we go. 
Almost got trapped in that corner there. It's just two skeleton warriors. Kicking my ass. <laughs> dodge, duck, dive, dip, dive, and, and dodge. That's right. You end and begin with dodge. Watch the dagger kill one of them. No. Eleven. Two damage. You joking? Wow. This this is rough. I need to make sure that Endrank has his spells next time. I forgot how useless our fighters are in the early portion of this game. It's just sad. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Turn on dead on skeleton warriors. I don't know. Stranger things, but sometimes you just gotta run. <laughs> I assume his flaming sword will disappear after uh, we rest here. That's crazy. Yeah, it's gone. All right, give him his steely back. Put Matthew back in the front. Let's try these guys again. Plus one dagger. I gotta look at those. I don't know where they got the, the number from there. Sometimes they like split up while you're on a different floor. Rest for two days and they're still here. They got not. Oh, I forgot again. Son of a bitch. How could I forget two times in a row? Alright, now Endrang's gonna get his spells. And now we're gonna have a chance. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Now we're, damn it. I don't know if it does damage when they don't flash is the thing. Like, is that a miss? I really don't know. Hell yeah, and drank. It's nice to see a nice tangible takeaway from all this. A oh, lightning bolt, but he's on the right side. It's annoying. Now he's on the right side. By which I mean the correct side. Alright. I think we can run into our own spells, actually, if we kind of run forward too quickly. That was a difficult battle. Just a couple skeleton warriors, and there's hundreds of them. But Endrank leveled up, so maybe we should actually take a look and see if... He's got any more spells to learn here. Oh, he's got an extra fireball. Excellent. And an extra ice storm. Fantastic. He's got the money extra on the money spells. I don't care about the uh, lower ones. That's great. Let's rest up. Head back into it. Now that I've completely forgotten where we were. Where was that door? Oh, he found us while we were sleeping and teaching entering spells for five days. Uh, like I think that's hitting, but I I just I don't know. I don't know. There's no need for San Rall to have a thing in his inventory, like a, a dagger that I need to move around. Even one of these guys is a handful. Let me see the turn on dead. Try the turn on dead. I mean, it quite literally turned the undead away from us. It makes them run away. That's... Maybe I was being naive. I'm the only one here who thought it would turn a living creature into an undead creature. But that's... That's pretty cool, though. Good call, Matthew. Where'd he go? Come back, you son of a bitch! 
It only lasted for so long. <laughs> Alright, give that give that book back to Endrink. <laughs> He's got some burning hands. I need to get rid of these magic missiles. They don't do anything. Watch it kill him. Eh. <laughs> Literally turn the undead. <laughs> Wow, you knew that? That's crazy. I thought you I thought I that never would have crossed my mind. I got plenty of ice storms. I still want to use it prematurely. Oh, that's just that's too dangerous to use when they're that close. That's when you want to eat. That's the only problem, is when it goes right through them. How garbage is that? These guys are so much harder than I remember. You got anything else, Sanral? He's got ice storms to give. They don't do much on the undead, understandably. No wonder Endrank leveled up on this guy, though. no slouches. Thank goodness. They found us. Freaking leave us alone, bro. Alright. Remind me to pass the spell book over to Endrank so he can learn his spells. <laughs> Can't wait till we find another spell book. Sometimes sorcerers leave them. Makes sense, as you'd expect. I don't think that's in any way profiling against uh, sorcerers, but they generally carry books with them, sorcery books. All right, we're gonna destroy you with our Ice Storm. I didn't mean to cast that. Come on. I tried switching over to the Fireball. But you know what? You've fallen right into my trap. Nair susceptible against Lightning Ball. Which seems to be pretty good, actually. nice thing is if you have two uh that's interesting while the menu is still up for end rank it'll let me uh access san Rawls spells or the other way around strike that reverse it but anyway My god these guys are ridiculously hard they are the real deal clearly Squatch, it's weak. Hell yeah. There you go, Matthew. <sighs> oh, Squatch is injured. So you want to, like, stop that because he's the healer. So if I just kept letting it go, it would just, it would, like, take much longer because you have to, like, break out so he can actually be the one to heal himself. But yeah, yeah, they're wounded as, as fuck, yeah. <laughs> You're not lying. But you get a nice rhythm, I was going to say, when you have two spell books by just alternating between the two. You get a nice, like, chop, chop, spell, spell, chop, chop, spell, spell. It's a very nice rhythm. But it only works if you have two spell books. So, that's something that I hope to accomplish by the end of this episode. Alright, so we're back in the key area. This is where we ran into those skeletons in the first place. Look for hidden stuff on the walls. Oh, uh, this is actually a nice room. This is where we can rest. Because there's not a lock on the outside. So when you run into, like, lots of d dangerous dudes, you can take a break in here, grab a nap, get your spells back, and then open the door, and you're ready to go again. So, I do remember that. 
Cop cop, spell steal. Stab stab, spell steal. Alright, check all these walls. That sounds like dude's coming to kill me. Yep. It sure is. They're going back in their room. Hey! Wow, skeletons and clerics hanging out together. Where's your buddies? Wait for them to stack up a little bit. They hang out. They're into the same stuff. I wish the other skeletons would stack up, because oftentimes it's that's when the spells obviously do the most damage, but uh alright. This is where I'm gonna go back and take a nap. You don't even have to wait till the door is all the way down, you're fine. Let's get our spells back, catch our breath, head back out for some more carnage. Nineteen hours later problem is they start kind of piling up at the door. Yeah. Right. My brother played D&D &D when I was a kid. And I like, I think I joined in a couple times. I didn't really know what was going on though. Just thought it was cool to create this whole everything. It was fun. But I haven't done it. I haven't done it since then. But I enjoy games like this. You know, not that it's anywhere, you know, it's just in branding alone, but still. Alright, let's move this to you. What do you got? You got Lightning Bolt. That's good for the guy on the left. Son of a bitch, you got friends, do you? <sighs> he switched too, that son of a bitch. They're in my room, that's the problem. That's the issue I take. Hit him in the back. There you go, killed someone. Man, Ice Storm is so good. Why didn't that hit them? That's garbage. Come on, the trap's gotta hit them too. That's only fair. Honestly, sometimes I think Ice Storm is better if you're further away. Like multiple layers further back. I don't want to get trapped between two sets of skeletons, but I think... Here we go. Oh, <sighs> I like that Meow Meow was in the campaign. I'll swap the book now. It's such a busted way of doing this. Passing the book back and forth. Your turn with the book, Son Rawl. Not load. Save. All right. You on your own? Nine damage. I wish I knew how much health these guys had. Fireball or not. That'll do it. Or not. I need to grind a whole lot in this game. Come back once we can put a dent in some of these damn skeleton warriors. 
without having to rest between like one of them. Pretty substantial damage, too, each time. Twelve. Like a third of my HP. Squatch. Face this fella. When it hits... Do it again. Hand off the book. Can't you guys just share it while we're resting for 30 hours at a time? You'd think. Alright. Now we're paralyzed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> just run back to our room and take a quick nap. What? Where's remove paralysis? Probably resting doesn't do that for you. Takes them eight hours to relearn that spell. Jeez. Not worried about you. You're not a skeleton warrior. You get on easy. I ain't gonna waste the lightning bolt on you. You're a burning hands cleric. Might be time to create some food, by the way. Ooh, a key. There's a skeleton key, nice. I'm gonna leave the door open, that's... Not worried about that at all. Alright. He wouldn't learn anything if he's not holding the book. Finally dropped some loot. Alright. So... This is the room they came from about an hour ago. No hidden walls. They're just all hanging out in here together. That's fine. All right. So glad we got that key. Guess we'll use it. All right then. <laughs> the gang's all here. Lenny Bolt. Lenny Bolt. Uh, Ice Storm? Nice. Killed one of them. Oh, that was too close. That was too close. They had that spell cocked and ready to go. Don't hit Sanral. Fire! Nice. He did pick one lock successfully. Squatch in the front. Damn. Wish they miss as often as I do. You gotta be careful with that. <laughs> it's so cheap, but so are the bad guys sometimes, you know? When they're that overpowered, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, at least you never, uh, you may not always pick every lock there, LeMay, but at least you never rob us while we're all sleeping, right? Take the weapons out of our hands. I've just been... Hanging out, buzzing outside of the, uh... I don't know if they get their health back. Maybe they rest too. It's 
like five misses in a row. Miss with two lightning bolts and about four hits. Oh, that's brilliant. That's just lovely. We're getting it from both sides. We need to clear this side out fast. We haven't gotten another nameable character yet. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, turn him. Ah, oh, I stabbed him and that, that changed him. Son of a bitch. This game's too hard. I forgot how fucking hard this game was. Good lord. Not good. There's that cleric again, so we're Let's create some food too while we're at it, let's be honest. They're very unforgiving. You would just think, like, as a rule, like, four adults, or five adults in general, could beat two skeleton warriors, but apparently not. Give me that key, son of a bitch. The more I... I just feel like Lightning Bolt is so good. I don't know. Probably because it always hits. That's probably what makes it so amazing. <laughs> no, I said we didn't get to any of the characters that you can rename yet. Always hear their footsteps. All right, got the key, use the key. All right, throw the key. Oh, right. Landing bolt! Ah, quit holding my team! Aw, oh, cookout. Cookout's so good. I'm jealous, too. Wrong guy, wrong guy. Oh. I always tense up every time I cast that spell. Yeah, Lightning Bolt's like the best spell. It just keeps hitting dudes. Gotta wait till that skeleton's on the left side. There you go. Ah, he moved, that son of a bitch. <sighs> Man of rest. Kelvin's like the guy who charged us to go to this temple in the first place, probably moved on to like a thousand other things. He's like, Oh, oh, you actually you went to Dark Moon? That was like five years ago. <laughs> You've rested so much. I don't remember any of that.
Damn it. And drink what you got. You got fireballs. The amount of missing in this game. I know I just complained about it 20 minutes ago. But good lord. I should just brought five magic users. It's just ridiculous. How do you miss five, six, seven? I mean, no one was in front of him that time. Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right, no one was there. I'm not going to count that. Eleven. I mean, yeah, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One. He does one damage after 13 misses. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's the breakdown right there. Wait a minute. Are there skeletons? Oh, no. Oh, dear. All right, we're okay. That's the breakdown of this game. 60% sleeping. 30% saying, I need another spell book. 10% action. That's this game right now. I like how the difficulty cranked up about 10,000% between episodes. <laughs> so much time spent resting. I would like to accomplish something before we end this episode. Alright, let's get our ice storm primed. I don't know where they're hanging out. Ah, we killed someone. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Boom. Uh-oh. Better get this guy to join up with him. Oh, we killed another guy. What are the odds? Maybe they were just tired. You need to rest a little bit. You're on the correct side for it. There we go. Progress and sp and spellbook switching. That's true. I wish it wasn't like that, but there we go. About time you do something with those m bloody muscles. What's the point of all those bloody push-ups if you can't even lift up? Bloody board. One off guy. Should we throw these robes at him? Suck it. Oh, it hit. Probably did more damage than most of the stuff that I do to this guy. Michael Caine. That's my Michael Caine. Glad you got that. There's not a guy to our left, is there? Right now. That'd be mean. How much health do you have, Mr. Skeleton? Alright, swapping out. Does someone need this? Which one's better? We should look. Armor class 10. Armor class 9. Lower is better, right? Just like in golf? I don't remember which one was the new one. He's not even wearing armor. 10. 10. That doesn't really help me. <laughs> you think that would change if he's wearing clothes? Alright, let's rest. Who throws a shoe? Throws a shoe, honestly. <laughs> a little more than a full day. 28 hours. Get those spells, but we're ready to move in the next area. It's very exciting. 
keep this going for a bit longer. Got a sweet dagger. Oops. Damn, footsteps. Where are they? Hell yeah, Brigandia. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a trap. All that loot on the ground. Hold on one second. I don't know what to do if he gets paralyzed. We're kind of screwed then. What did I do? I cast a prayer. That's dumb. Let's make some food. We need a nice meal before this massive final battle. Alright. Maybe that's why we're missing. We're hungry. Safe. Good call. <laughs> I don't disagree with that. All right, let's make a stand. Five hours later. What did I do? That's the wrong damn thing. Not that it matters that Brigandia is not paralyzed anymore. We did kill that cleric. The clerics go down so much easier than these skeletons. These skeletons are overpowered. Fireball! Uh-oh. Yeah, we're fucked. Alright. I forgot how many damn enemies there are here. Yeah, it's crazy how much easier every other enemy in this game is than these damn skeletons, apparently. I mean, of everyone that you're gonna... Yeah, they go down with one lightning bolt by comparison, the clerics. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, hold on, guys. <laughs> One second. We just have to learn our spells again. All right. We got this. I don't want to save again. We got this. My God, we're holding my dudes. These lightning bolts are amazing when they hit. I think that skeletons might be faster than the humans as well. Clerics seem to always take damage from the spells. That's twice she's gotten hit by that. The skeleton's just like, meh. And she's dead. Chipping away. <sighs> We're gonna end this on a high note this week by leaving the skeleton area. There, this game isn't. There's not a lot of skeletons in this game, for what it's worth. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, there's so many skeletons. It's gonna take forever." There's not that many skeletons. They're predominantly in this area. There's a lot of different types of 
characters upstairs. I will save right now. Back in for more. Do not paralyze me again. Son of a bitch. We might have only killed clerics for all I know. Exclusively. It's yeah. a good comparison. Clerk's like, I got hit. Lord! I did not mean to move him into that spot. I don't think Endrank even got any spells off. I don't even think it's worth to try to bring him back. Squatch has more health right here anyway. I think I got one or two skeletons. <laughs> My god. Why did they program this game this way? Why were the skeletons so powerful? So much more powerful. They're right in front of you at such close quarters. How do you keep missing? Don't understand. We got another one. But they have another one right there waiting in the wings. About that second magic book. Magic missile sucks. Magic missile. Gotta watch that or listen to that Dr. Demento sketch again. One of the funniest D and D uh, parodies I can think of. Oh, this feels like the spells are better for the guys in the back row. They have another one. Don't worry. That hitting the button is not always a guarantee, too. They can, like, advance on you if you're not quite quick about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, XCOM. More of that on Friday. Anyone interested on the Twitch? Fluff's doing an hour and a half or so of his, uh, whatever game he's playing. And then I'll be finishing off with uh, some more XCOM. So, fun little Friday night. That's next time we're live. Yeah, someone dropped a mace. Might be a better mace, actually. Let's pop that in his hand for now. Lobster back in the saddle. Yeah, he is. He's been meowing up a storm. We're working on a new Friday night uh, schedule, but uh, in the meantime, until we get that finalized, I'm just sort of splitting it with him. Dude! Now our healer is hurt, so we have to wait until he gets back to zero. Yeah, that's why it says that. If you don't have a healer, yeah, you think I sleep a lot right now. If I don't have a healer, this would really take a long time. So now we have to stop sleeping and then start sleeping again now that he's above zero. So he can start using his spells on folks. over this is completely ridiculous and I guess we're good I thought we had good stats when I was rolling them the other night probably my mistake was doing it during let's drink with brigands oh good another cleric that'll be easy and I was uh, under the influence so I probably didn't know what I was doing but they seem like good numbers they were all double digits and shock or another cleric goes down just like that. Are we sure these shields are working? We 
got him on that side this time. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Run, run like hell. Uh oh. Uh, is there a lock on that? How are there still more dudes in here? Oh my god. All right, you know what? We'll pick up next week. And, um, well, we'll get past the skeletons one way or another. Maybe I'll do that off camera to save everyone from watching more skeletons, some more overpowered skeletons. It's kind of ridiculous. I forgot how silly stupid they are. But, um, yeah, next week, it'll be better. Tune in then. You can check it out live Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, right here on Let's Play with Brigands YouTube. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. See you soon.